There is a coldness in the heart of our society. As the highest tier of Americans continue to profit, the gap, the gap of inequality widens, and invaluable lives are deprived of the basic essentials for survival. Some may think that a hunger strike is a dangerous and effective tactic to address this crisis. Some may think that it is not enough, or even in the world's most prosperous nation, every 53 minutes, an American child dies due to poverty. How many more are we willing to let die before we act? The theory of housing first states that providing a stable place to sleep significantly enables a person to find employment, recover from substance abuse, refrain from violence and crime, and seek mental health counseling at a lower cost to government. In a progressive and thriving city such as ours, if we were able to adopt such a powerful resolution, we would be more successful and resourceful in combating systemic poverty rather than using our police force to sweep vulnerable human beings from the grid to doorways to jail cells. We entered this protest with three distinct goals. So far, advancement with the city has appeared a little bleak. If you pay close attention, you can see a subtle change in our approach on the issue. I'd like to thank the mayor and city council for the responsiveness, their advocacy, and their endless work behind the scenes to address our general welfare. We have their attention and are beginning to broaden their policy to deal with this housing crisis. We are close to a victory. Now it is time for the citizenry to do their part. This could be a summer of memory where more of us will turn off our TV, cancel our trips to the beach, spend time away from the bar, and start being awake. I strongly encourage the students workers, the unemployed poor, those left in endless debt, and all others looked at being left the middle class to participate in our day of economic justice. August 10th will be an observance of the 70th day of my hunger strike, and the day the United States Declaration of Independence first reached to London. Beginning right here, we will host a rally, march, potluck, dance party, and slumber party. Yeah. There is so much visibility for this great cause right now. The whole world is watching. Now is the time for unity, not to divide amongst ourselves. I can see the light inside every single one of you right now. Never surrender that power. Thank you. Yeah.